Hey guys, it's Abby and I am here with a package opening slash blind box opening. We haven't done one of these in a while so I'm very excited. I received a package from my friend Linda. She sent me some goodies and um, you guys know I'm obsessed with stationery. She sent me some very cute washi tapes and I will swatch these I guess at the end if any of you are interested in seeing the designs. Before we get into the blind boxes, let me show you this adorable pin she sent me. She collects pins from different artists and she has a, I would say a pretty big collection. But anyway, she got me this one to add to my collection. And this pin is created by Pigeon Paper Co. So you can check them out if you're interested. But look at, it's a little fox riding in an airplane. Adorable. Anyway, on to the blind boxes. She sent me a bunch of Tokidoki blind boxes from her own personal collection, I believe. And we have a Muvia, a Mermaid Corno from series five, and a Unicorno Tokidoki. I think this is a Halloween, it says Halloween Unicorno box. And I believe this one's from last year. I think they came out with a new series this year as well. A little bit behind on my unicorn knowledge because I haven't really made many toy videos this year. Here we have Yummy World, Fresh Friends Keychain, and a Donatella, and a Marvel Frenzies. Linda said it in her note, no chance of doubles luck because she sent me all different ones. So I'm very excited to see what we have. I think I'm most excited about this one and then maybe the Mermacorn. So we'll save those for last. And then maybe the Mufia and then Donatella. So let's start with the Yummy World. I don't think I have ever opened one of these before. It's by Kid Robot. Kid Robot has a lot of great figures. Let's see if I can open this without destroying the box. Maybe I should cut that. Here we go. I'm not sure why they taped it when it's sealed down. I guess just to make sure someone doesn't open it before purchasing. Comes in a little baggy. It says Yummy World. Oh, we didn't really look at the lineup, did we? One out of 48 is the rarest, right? Two out of 24, three out of 24, three out of 24, one out of 24. Ooh, I kind of like that. Looks like a mojito. One out of 48 is the rarest, right? Numbers are not my forte. Oh, wait, was this? Oh, there's more on the other side. I was gonna say this isn't on there. So this is one out of 24. So that's pretty common. Not as common as two out of 24, I guess. I'm gonna say it's a smoothie a frappuccino, maybe. It kind of looks like a matcha frappuccino. And I know that Mr. Panda would say it looks like a little poop. I'm pretty sure it's whipped cream. Moving on to the Marvel Frenzies. I don't know if this is the lineup or what but I believe I opened one of these before I don't remember what I've gotten but yeah if it is from a movie we'll probably know who it is I unfortunately don't know too much about the comics but I do love the movies oh it's square cut this open oh it's a Book. Interesting packaging. Oh, it's Red Skull, who I know from Captain America. This is a really cool keychain. Now that I'm seeing this, I don't think I have opened one of these before. This is really cool. I mean, probably not my favorite character, but I think there's a magnet inside there. It snaps back. I love this design. I'm pretty sure this is an older blind box. Let me see if I can find a year on here. Manufactured 01 2017, January 2017. So that means like three years ago. Anyway, there is my first one. Next, let's check out the Donatella and her sweet friends. I don't think I've opened many of these either. I think I have a few. I love pretty much everything Tokidoki, but I would say that um, Unicornos are my favorite. So I do end up opening a lot of those. This box is so cute. I think I'm gonna keep it. I can store little things in there. Really nice packaging. Is there a checklist or something? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna pull it out. 
Jung. Oh, it's one of the kitties. Oh, look at it. It's a little donut. And a little donut collar. Now, I know these characters all have names, but I do not know. This one's from 2016. So this is quite old as well. Continuing on, let's open this Mufia. And this is series two. I don't really remember the difference between series one and series two, but I do have quite a few of these. The real question is, will I remember which one I have? If you wanna check out my collection, I do have a video that I made last year of all my figures, so I'll link it down below if you would like some quality Tokidoki figure time. Jum! Ooh! Almond milk. Oh, this one's cute. It has little horns, ears. Have you seen me? I don't think I've ever seen a missing child ad on a milk carton. Is that something that they still do? It's definitely not something that you see in Japan. I know it's more of a US thing, I think. I don't know. Mermaid Corno Series 5. I think Series 5 is one of the newer ones. Uh, made in June 2020, so that's super recent. If that's what the 06 stands for. I assume it does. Here's the lineup. Oh, the chaser's adorable. It's Kaikora. Love Note, Stinger, Flower Princess. Flower Princess is fancy. Johnny D. Doodle. Ooh, I really like Doodle. Or Azura. Little Red's cute. It's kind of like a crab. I would like Azura, Doodle. I guess Love Note. Or Kaikora. I mean, what are the odds of me getting the chaser, guys? I don't think I've ever gotten a chaser. Ooh, the packaging's pretty. I mean, the little baggy. Oh. This one has a little pull tab. I may have missed it on the other ones. Are you guys ready? Jung! Oh, Stinger. Oh, this is cool though. It's translucent. Can you guys tell? It's really cool looking. I'm not a fish expert, but this reminds me of Gil from Finding Nemo. It could be a totally different fish though. I'm not sure. Finally, and this is kind of appropriate for the season, we have our Halloween. Unicorno box and I've noticed they've been making a lot of seasonal stuff lately like I have some of the cherry blossom ones and I know there was a lunar new year one and I feel like there's some other seasonal ones but anyway here is the Halloween one ooh midnight is adorable patches spooky neferina la katrina and jumper honestly all of these designs are pretty the sugar skull is very detailed I really like midnight though because purple is my favorite color also, this packaging, it's purple. I really like it. Let's do this. Last one. Oh, there's a checklist in this one. It says, this is not a toy. This is collectible art. Can I use that as an argument when I monetize these videos? Not a toy video. Cross your fingers, guys. I would really love Midnight. I am super nervous. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. Um, it is the Frankenstein's monster one. What was its name? Patches. Because there are patches on its body. This is a really cool design. It has the stitches along its face and its wings. That's cute. Let's review, shall we? I have a Stinger, Patches, Almond Milk, Red Skull, Kitty Cat, who I don't know its name, and my Yummy World keychain. Now I shall go swatch my washi tapes. That was my lovely, lovely package from Linda. And I am very excited that I finally got to open some blind boxes on video again. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I will see you guys next time. Bye.